Okay, I want to show you a little quick tutorial just how we use uh, nematodes to help with fungus gnats, root aphids, things like that. If you're not using them in your soil, you should be. I personally use them once per cycle and it just to make it easy once I harvest, when I chop the plant, top dress, and reset, I will apply nematodes then. Um, and basically, you're just going to open up your nematode packaging. Then you're going to want to use some filtered water. You want to fill the bucket all the way up to the top. You know, a little bit below, a couple inches below, but you know, to roughly the five gallon mark. So once you have the bucket full, I like to use, uh, you know, bamboo stakes. We have them around just to prop, prop up plants. Um, I'll leave this in here for 30 minutes and I'll stir it about three different times over that 30 minutes. So you'll stir it, let it sit for 10, stir it, let it sit for 10, stir it. And uh, then we go from there. All right, so I got my last stir going. We waited about 30 minutes. And so what you're gonna notice now is that you have all this vermiculite floating on the surface and uh, what I do, you can use a lot of things. If you have like a, some sort of strainer, colander, or whatever, that works perfectly well. Um, but I take the cup that um, it came in, grab my pocket knife, poke some holes in it, use it as a skimmer, because I'm a cheap bastard, and it's convenient, and it's there. And I just skim them off, and then throw it to the side. And you can reuse that vermiculite for a different project if you want. Um, there's a lot of uses for it. And then we'll just skim this off as best as possible so that we just have that uh, nematode infused water left. And then uh, it's time to go apply it to our plants. Okay, so now I have most of my vermiculite out of there. Um, just using my cup as a colander. Now, alternatively, you can put uh, the vermiculite with the nematodes um, in a compost tea bag, it'll block out pretty much all of the vermiculite from being in your water. Um, the only downside, it's not necessarily a downside, instead of stirring, you're just going to be there, you're going to go in and you're going to squeeze the bag and manipulate it um, multiple times over that 30 minute period to make sure you extract all the nematodes um, out of it and into your water. Um, alternatively, you could put it in a brewer type, a composty brewer type system in a bag too, and bubble it for a while to let that do it for you. I mean, there's there's no hard rules. Um, this is just kind of a quick, easy way to do it. And obviously, this is only a five gallon bucket. If you're scaling this up into a hundred gallon tank, two hundred seventy five gallon tank, things like that, um, it might make more sense doing it a different way. Um, but just for you know, quick, easy, smaller scale, this is kind of my go to method. So now that we have it ready to go, all we have to do is go in and water it in and what I you know like to pay attention to when you water it in and there's a few different ways to water it in um, is you want to make sure you cover all the surface area as best as possible because nematodes aren't massive migrators and so if you miss a big chunk of soil you might not get nematodes there um, now uh, I'm using a solo cup because it was convenient and I was shooting this video and it was there It's not a bad idea to put this into a pump sprayer because you can get a real even coat um, And you don't waste a lot and cover the whole surface super easy um, I do like that idea if you're running it through a system with the tank and um, water pumps uh, First off if you're using like an impeller style pump You probably should change that anyways because it's gonna cut things up as you water uh, as the water goes through, um, I'd look more for like a diaphragm style pump. Um, it's going to do less damage. Um, but there's all kinds of ways to do it and, and minimize the uh, negative effects that you would have on the nematodes themselves. Now, with the nematodes, I know there's you know a certain shelf life that is uh, said to be for nematodes uh, as far as in a refrigerator. I've tested nematodes in a fridge at six months and I've tested them at one year um, and under the microscope I saw live nematodes on both um, ages in the fridge 
Um, obviously, the longer you put them in the fridge, uh, the less likely that they're going to survive. But uh, I have had extremely good luck with up to six months. And I've had r pretty good luck up to a year. So keeping them in the, in the fridge for a few months, um, which, you know, three to six months is, is super safe to do and you won't be wasting any money. And um, there's not going to be any negative effects typically. So, uh, you know, again, if you're not using nematodes on our soil, in living soil in general, you should be. Um, they do help protect against root aphids and fungus gnats, and they're part of a larger system. Um, I like to accompany them with row of beetles, hypothesis miles, um, and then that with the nematodes. You have a pretty solid army to help protect against pests.